One easy way to improve your English pronunciation quickly is to become familiar with common words with silent letters. This is the first of a series of videos on silent letters in American English. In this video, you'll learn the most common words with silent B. And keep watching till the end. It'll be hard to forget these words after you hear the wacky sentences I've come up with to help you learn and practice these words. We all know how crazy English spelling can be sometimes. There are lots of spelling irregularities you need to learn. If you've been using English for a while, you probably know that you can't always predict the pronunciation of a word based on its spelling. No need to worry though. Like in everything, there are patterns that you can learn to make identifying silent letters somewhat predictable. Let's take the B for example. It's easy to spot most silent Bs. Most of them are where the B follows the letter M at the end of words. Some examples include thumb, bomb, and comb. In addition, the largest number of these silent B words have a short U sound. Now here they are. Crumb, dumb, numb, plum, succumb, thumb, and plumber or plumbing. I know that the MB is not actually at the end of those last two words, but you can add the ending ER or ING here without changing the pronunciation, so the B is still silent in those words. Here's a crazy practice paragraph to help you remember the silent B words. My thumb is now numb from the plumbing accident. I plum forgot how dumb my friend's ideas can be, so I succumbed to her begging and tried to get her precious crumbs out of the drain pipe. What did you think of that? Crazy, huh? Can you visualize it? Can you actually see it in your mind's eye? The crazier the story, the easier it is to remember something. Now let's continue learning more words with a silent B. There are several other common words ending in MB where the final B is silent. First, there's lamb, which is the animal or the meat. And here's a sentence for you. We're having lamb kebabs for dinner. Can you see that? Can you imagine tasting that delicious roasted lamb? My mouth is watering just thinking about it. Mmm, lamb. Enough about food. Here are two silent B words that are both spelled with I but do not rhyme. Limb and climb. Don't climb on that broken tree limb. Did you hear the difference in the two I pronunciations? Climb has a long I and limb has a short I. Climb, limb. Those vowel sounds sound completely different, don't they? Now there are four words ending in O-M-B, and only two of those four rhyme. Listen carefully and decide which two rhyme. And by rhyme, I mean which two of the four words sound the same. They have the same vowel sound. Only two of those four have the same vowel sound. There are actually three different vowel sounds, and they're all spelled O-M-B. Here goes. My friend Roberto is a twin, so he calls his twin brother his womb mate. They're archaeology students and are now working on a project in South America that's the bomb. They recently uncovered a tomb where they found many ceremonial objects, including a beautiful comb made from bone. Can you tell which of those two words rhyme? And did you notice that there are actually three different pronunciations for the O in those words? Now, if you didn't hear it, I want you to go back and I want you to listen again. I'm not going to give you the answer right now, but I am going to write it in the comments section. So I want you to listen and listen again until you can tune your ear in to distinguishing the difference between those vowel sounds. 
because I want you to really, really start working on your listening skills rather than on reading and pronouncing based on spelling. So look in the comments section to find out which of those two words actually rhyme. Okay, and the last three silent B words are different than all the previous ones. There are three common words where the B is silent before a T, and they are debt, doubt, and subtle. And here's a practice sentence for you. We have some subtle doubts about whether we should go into debt to buy the lamb farm. Now those are all the most frequently used words that have silent Bs in American English. But there are other words that do exist that have silent Bs. If there are any others that you use, please write them in the comments section. Now I would highly suggest going back and practicing those sentences some more. And make sure you write down the words that are useful for you and you put those into sentences that you would actually say. And I hope you'll join me for more videos on silent letters. Thanks for watching and please share this video with your friends.